Hi there, my name is Jesse Luna and you're here on jessiluna.com and today I'm going to show you how to load a route onto your device so that you can uh, don't get lost during your next race. In this case, in order to access the route, here we are, uh, you need to, we're going to want to download it and in order to do that you have to be logged into the site. So uh, I already logged in in a different tab so I'm just going to refresh. And okay, so I'm logged in now and we're taking the 50K course. So we are going to export that and we're gonna download the GPX file. So go ahead and do that. You see that it's successfully uh, downloaded. We're not gonna deal with any of these direct to phone um, kind of options. So we're just gonna close that. We go to our downloads file and there we, there it is, there we have it. Okay, so now, we have the course, right, or the route. I'm using those terms in interchangeably for a reason you'll see. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna upload that to our device. In this case, it's gonna be Garmin. And in particular, it's a Garmin Phoenix 6. Uh, but this will work pretty similarly for other types of devices, or at least Garmin devices. So in this case, we need to go to the Garmin Connect site. Okay, here we are, and I'm already logged in. So uh, that's all set, I don't have to log in again. And then we go to training and planning, courses, and I'm ready to, I'm not gonna create a course, I'm going to import a course. Now we go to the area where we downloaded, and those are under downloads, so there it is. Ray Miller 5050K. Uh, 2022, you get it, the point. And we're gonna click on upload. You're gonna see the file listed there. So then we go and we click get started. And then I happen to know, because I've been training on the course and this is one of our hometown trails, this is the trail run. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a trail run. And this will be um, important to note when you add this to your Garmin device. If you decide that this wasn't the right way that you want to label it on your device, then you can, you know, kind of go back and then uh, say that this is uh, running instead of trail running. Uh, but we're going to select trail running because it is a trail uh, course and hit continue. And by the way, that's why I mentioned before um, that I'm using course and route interchangeably. If you're using Strava, Strava will refer to these as routes. And you can also do things like send it something from Strava to, to your Garmin um, is another flow we're not gonna get into at this point, but that's another way you can get that on your device, okay? So here we have our, uh, our new course, but it's not saved yet. So we have to go down here and click on save new course. It's thinking. And there it is, it's keeping the name that we used here. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're not gonna mess with that right now. And then now we're ready to come down here to the bottom and send to device. We get this option, it already, I've already had the Phoenix 6 connected to my, um, obviously to the website, the Garmin Connect site. And it's been syncing in the past. So now, um, usually by default, this will be checked. Um, I did uh, launch Garmin Express. I did this, uh, tried this out earlier and it wasn't connecting to Garmin Express, so we're not gonna worry about that. And you don't need it to do that um, yet anyway, or at all, actually. And then now you're ready to go to send to device. And down here, you'll see a message. The course will be available on your device after you oh, see. I'm gonna go ahead and hop on over to uh, our iPhone, my iPhone here and see what things look like in Garmin Connect. So we open up the app. Then just uh, like we did on the website, we're going to go to training and planning, take a look at courses, and there it is, there's our site. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start. Uh, okay, so it's on our phone at least. Uh, now we need to make sure that it ends up on our, on our uh, watch. Okay, so now it's time for the final step. And let's take a look at our Phoenix uh, 6 watch here. And we're going to go to start. And we remember when we selected the option of trail run, it was a trail running uh, course. 
So that's selected there. We're going to click on that. And don't worry, the activity didn't try to start or anything yet. We need now, now we need to go up to options. So we're going to use this uh, up button. And the first one that shows up here is courses. If you don't see courses on your watch, then you need to navigate um, to those different types of views and uh, add it on there. But you need courses. So it's, um, I'm just going to turn the light on there. It's selected. So now let's go to courses. And now we use this button down here to scroll down. And that's a different one. And so there it is. There's a Ray Miller 5050, uh, 31.90 miles. You click on that and you'll see that it's loading the light on so you can see the little thing and then it says do course that means that you're on the course and you're ready to get started if you're at the starting line then that's what you do there this has been a tutorial on how to add a uh, route a custom a custom course to your phoenix 6 watch